All signs continue to point towards Sunday against Cleveland for Klay Thompson's return. If Klay Thompson and Steph Curry on the court together and healthy, Warriors going to conference finals, at the very least. Big time. <laughs> Thank you. You think the Warriors are just going to make the league pay when Clay returns? Without question. Right, how you feeling, man? Excited, man. For that man right there. Very excited. Right there. Let's go! We went on a, a, a two-year hiatus from the playoffs, and in large part due to his absence, you know, and, and what he brings to the table. And I know uh, for most people that's three-point shooting. Um, for us, that's that's a competitive edge that no one else on this team has. I remember playing him in the preseason out in China, and I went to go for a workout. It was like 11 o'clock at night. I went to the weight room in the hotel to lift weights, and he was in there by himself lifting lifting weights. <laughs> You know, and so when I see stuff like that, then that's what I know. He's, uh, he takes the game seriously. This is one of the toughest tickets to get in the Bay Area. We want to welcome you inside Chase Center, let you experience the starting lineups, the return of Clay Thompson. I think the biggest thing and the biggest advantage is, you know, being in, at Oracle Arena one more time where our fans can really get behind us. We want to win this championship. We're going to give everything we got, but I think we're done with, you know, proving people wrong or making bold statements with our play. People know who we are. June 13th was an important matchup between the Golden State Warriors and the Toronto Raptors in the 2019 NBA Finals, with the Warriors trying to extend a finals where they had been fighting an uphill battle for nearly the entire series. With the loss of Klay Thompson due to minor injury earlier in the series, and now with Kevin Durant being sidelined for the foreseeable future with a torn Achilles, the Warriors were quite literally on their last leg, with diminishing hopes of accomplishing the three-peat. However, they still have a chance to win Game 6 and send the series back to Canada for a seventh game. Because because of a particular phenomenon that I still think needs to be scientifically studied. Game six clay is a real thing. Clay Thompson's game. Was that game six? That was game yeah. six. Everybody in the world is like, oh, game six clay. Here it comes. He's Boy, do they want to send this arena home with a great performance? This crowd fired up to start. Thompson pulls back, three pointer, puts it in. Clay Thompson on fire here in the first quarter. They're only six feet, Lowry and Van Vliet. Thompson drills it. 20 points, Clay Thompson. Thompson off the dribble to the rack. Layup is good. Game is tied. Thompson, long three. It's good. Tie game again. Thompson for three. Thompson running the floor. And Thompson grabs his left knee. Now writhing in pain. Steph Curry slamming the ball on the court. So upset. Green went up to block it. Some of the players saying something. Danny Green saying, I'm just trying to block the play. And everybody for the Warriors and the franchise and here in the stands holding their breath. Clay Thompson obviously in some pain. He grabbed that left knee right away.
was headed back to the locker room, but then turned around and lived back out on the floor. the free throw. And I'm not sure they're going to foul. I think they're signaling for to go back and play zone. To me, I'm committing to foul, but Clay Thompson looked like he can actually survive on the floor right now. He's staying in the game. And there's the foul. Cousins fouls Siakam. Thompson did not want to come out. They didn't want that foul. The news about the injury came during the night from this man, our NBA insider Adrian Wojnarowski. Go ahead, Woj. Tell everybody who hasn't yet heard the diagnosis on the injury. Yeah, Greeny, a, a torn left anterior cruciate ligament. Uh, that's a, a rehab that's going to carry Clay Thompson well into next season, perhaps February or March. And just like that, it was all over. The Golden State Warriors' historic five-year run was finished, with more uncertainty than we had ever seen before with this team. Between Kevin Durant's injury, a handful of players set to enter free agency, and moving to a new building, everything was about to change. But possibly the biggest question mark was Klay Thompson, who had now suffered the first major injury of his entire career, who was sort of the Iron Man of the team up until this point, as the most games he had ever missed in a single season was nine. He was now looking at a situation where he could miss either most or all games the following year, which put a lot of doubts in the air about what this Warriors team would actually be able to do. San Antonio, Charlotte, and Portland before the home stands over. See, I love what Pascal did that. He closed out on a shooting hand stop. Oh. Steph Curry with a lot of contact. Uh -oh. He's holding that left wrist. It's devastating. It's devastating. This season's over. Uh, let's just call it what it is. The season's over. I hope Steph Curry has a full recovery. I love this brother as a person and as a superstar in the NBA. No Draymond Green, no D'Angelo Russell tonight, so only nine healthy bodies. With the original Big Three now all dealing with injury, it very much felt like the Warriors as we knew them were done. Of course we expected them to come back from their injuries, but the expectation of getting back to their days of title contention was a little harder for people to get behind. We simply had no idea what these obstacles would mean for them moving forward, especially considering the fact that they were all aging and exiting their athletic primes. After an injury riddled year, the Warriors went from 5 straight finals appearances to a season in which they won just 15 games. But with all three set to come back from injury after an extremely extended offseason due to the pandemic, it was finally time to see what they would look like. Matt, worst possible news for the Warriors, Klay Thompson has suffered a full tear of his right Achilles. He will miss the entire season. Uh, he missed last season with an ACL tear in his left knee. This is his right Achilles. This is such a nightmare. I mean, Klay Thompson, one of the toughest players in the league. To get that call was a gut punch for sure. It's at least a year, yes. and, and sometimes it's never quite right. Right. Your calf atrophies and just shrinks, and, and you can't get the strength back. Now you're not sure about your ACL, and you're not sure about your other leg. It's no good. So this is career oh, threat. Oh, two different sides. It just happened on a true dribble pull-up jump shot, a move I do 100 times a day. So uh, it was just an unfortunate series of events, nothing I could have ever prepared for nor prevented. I was working my butt off for... 10 months up to that point, and it's just, uh, you got to go back to the drawing board. I knew I did it right away, and it's, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's in the past, but I'm getting, I'm, I'm getting better every day. It was probably the most unthinkable thing that could have possibly happened to an athlete that had already just missed a full year and a half due to injury. He was now going to have to do it all over again, with another full calendar year of rehab and training ahead, trying to come back from what could be the two worst injuries you can suffer as a professional athlete back to back. 
To say things weren't looking promising would be an understatement, as you saw from Clay's defeated look in the interview. So he took a different approach during his second recovery of just trying to laugh through it and keep himself in good spirits. And that's when we were introduced to his now legendary alter egos in Reporter Clay and Captain Clay. Oubre will get to the line and we get to say hello to Clay Thompson. What's up, man? What's up, Clay? How you doing, man? Check the, oh, Mike works, Mike's hot. <laughs> uh, man, I'm good. You're on, bro. Hey, first time for everything, y'all. You know, I just wanted to share this experience with y'all, you know? This is what the morning commute looks like. Well, Clay. Oh, no, I got about eight unanswered Bob Fitzgerald text messages, <laughs> so I'm here now. I texted you too, I didn't get a reply back. I don't have your number, bro, I'm sorry. <laughs> I did not practice at LB. It's my day off, LB. Get out of here. Ready for the season to come? Oh my goodness. Steph makes this. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> You've seen it before. I've seen that a lot. Why, man? Where you at, Why? Sh you should be on the boat. Me and my deckhand, rookie. Come on, rook. Great for James. He needs that, you know. I've been hearing Draymond yell at me for 10 years, so <laughs> it feels good to hear him yell at somebody else. I had this in a long time. I ain't feel like this in a long time. You're getting technical with him. Hey. Oh. Ooh. That's what we call barbecue chicken. Nothing you can do about that right there. <laughs> 28 points per game. That's a lot, man. I'm, I'm going to take a dub and some great defense. How about that? They go to Sfi again. That's a great way to sell the pick, Steph. <laughs> Steph will be a great actor, guys. I mean... Oh, it's a bar right here. Lead the league is going, man, but look at my assist. Hey, how was a bar? How much longer until you break Real's three-point record? I mean, you're you're in the in the booth right now, so it's your job to know these stats to be able to do the quick math. And uh, you're Sammy, supposed to, you're supposed to be able to tell me. I don't know where Sammy's at. Supposed he's supposed to, to punch to the numbers. Bob, I, I don't know. What do you think? Forty games? It, it's he's four hundred behind Clay. Oh, oh shoot. <laughs> <laughs> no, we'll be back. Who is a better color commentator? Del Curry or Michael Thompson? I gotta go Del Curry though. We, oh we, my! Oh man, what's wrong? With <laughs> And I think I speak for most people when I say that's exactly what we needed during that season. Some sort of positive energy to help both the fans and the players deal with an extremely difficult season. A year plagued by injuries, health protocols, and not being able to play in front of fans for most of the year. It wouldn't be enough, however, as the Warriors would miss the playoffs for the second consecutive year despite the efforts of Stephen Curry. The Warriors were now set up for a deja vu offseason of trying to make improvements to the roster while also monitoring Klay Thompson's status. But you got the feeling that things were going to be a little bit different this year, with each member of the big three all making their own predictions about the season ahead but it's uh it's a, it was a special year all things considered now i'm in a new experience for me draymond loon tried to make the most of it come back bottle this up everybody make the right strides take advantage of the summer and don't want to see us next year but i know what my expectations are they don't change from year to year they're always the same so you still believe this team can go to the finals this year. Steph Curry on our team? Clay? Yep. That's right, GS Champs 2022. Top Nation, we'll be back. The Warriors Dynasty over. I have a two part answer to that. Okay. Yes, it is. But they don't believe so. The Golden State Warriors dynasty is over. Well, unfortunately for my friends in the Bay Area, the answer to that is obviously and unequivocally yes. I can't wait to come back. It's coming. It's coming. It's not far away. Woj is the Warriors' home game against the Cavs this Sunday. Is that still the target for Clay's return? Uh, Malika, all signs continue to point towards Sunday against Cleveland for Klay Thompson's return. 941 days. 941 days.
season at Washington State University, number 11, Clay Thompson! Hundred and seventy-five games. 41 days. Here he is. They play down the lane. We'll put it up and in. See the hand time too? There it is. Clay Thompson, welcome back. Clay's got Jared Allen on a switch. He went to reach. And Clay down. Otto Porter getting around Allen. There's a good look at a three. There it is! First basket, first dunk, first three. It still looks good, doesn't it? As pure as it ever was. Half. See Stevens trying to slow down Clay Thompson. That's a tough baseline jumper. That looked like Clay of old right there. Well, they just told Looney, I got marketing. They handle it. Fading jumper is perfect. He's getting his rhythm back. Looney He's on going. the switch. Looney comes up with another steal. Play for three. Here we go. Uh oh. Uh oh. This feels familiar, doesn't it? He's letting everybody know now. Play three. Yes, sir. It's a work of art, his jumper. And his defender, the screener defender, just hit close enough as Clay Thompson gets another ovation coming out. He gets the ovation. Talk to him. For 20 great minutes, 17 points in 20 minutes on Clay's return. And it's going to come in a win, the 30th of the year for the Dubs. And a whole second half of the season as the Warriors will make that push for the playoffs. From there, we immediately knew what was about to happen in the coming months. Clay had still been noticeably slower due to less than ideal conditioning after being out for so long, but that night was a warning. That as soon as he truly gets his legs back, two and a half years of frustration are about to be taken out on the entire league. That's <laughs> right. facts. Like, I, Clay takes some shots at times. I'll be like, yo, Clay, what the f? That's a dumbass shot. He said, Dre, they can pay me to shoot. Say less, Clay, go ahead. <laughs> Five seconds to work with. Clay on a reload three. Yes, sir. That was so tough. Clay with a steal. Clay ran to the three point line. Oh, Clay Thompson is 8 of 11. That away. Clay retrieves. Shot clock at three. Clay Thompson to work on the rookie down the lane to put it up and in and draw the foul. The one flaw to the Golden State team turning the ball over the other oh, wow. as Clay Thompson. Bounce pass stolen by Damian Lee. Thompson this time goes right at Reeves. Layup. This time it's good. And the foul. Looney the offensive rebound. Back out. Thompson for three. Bang! him in that dunker spot for better spacing. Bradley deflects it to Thompson. Hits the three. Back to Thompson. Quick release. Puts it in. Clay Thompson a rookie. New straw comes to Porter, back out to Thompson, another three. It's good! Clay Thompson drove another! Crazy sequences here, and Clay Thompson makes it all with a three. Now shoots over a medical ball. The elites and tips it right to Thompson. Another three. Clay Thompson lighting it up here in the second quarter. Whips the pass to Wiggins up top. Thompson, another three. Bang! Clay Thompson pouring it on. He's got 35. 
Play deep three. Got it! Oh, scary hours. Six point lead the ball. Staff thought about that step back. Clay won't take it all. This is very three. 21 for Clay Thompson. In the hands of Curry. Edwards right up into him. Back to Thompson. Thompson three pointer. Clay Thompson from downtown. The lead is up to four. Timeout, Brooklyn. This brings us to the 2022 playoffs, which would prove to be the first major test not just for Klay Thompson, but for the Warriors as a whole, as this was their first playoff appearance since 2019, and with the roster being drastically different from their five-year run. This was truly where we would see what this team was actually made of. The last time their big three played a playoff game, it was on the other side of the Bay Bridge, and this year they've only played 11 minutes together. There's a lot of questions out there about them. The Elita finds Thompson, steps into another one. Two for two. Four behind the back. And the layup is good by Thompson. Deflection by Morris. And Porter able to get it back. Finds Clay Thompson. On the floor. That would be Poole and Thompson and Clay will put up a three. Got it. Clay Thompson with another three-point shot. Here comes Thompson, turn to the corner! Oh, we are so fired up for the second round matchup. The experience of the stars of Golden State against this young but very talented Grizzlies team. Thompson to fake, one dribble, fires, connects! Three-pointer for Clay Thompson. Timeout, Memphis. Inbound to Thompson, Thompson fakes, fires, three-pointer. Bang! Clay Thompson from downtown! And the Warriors back up by one. And it wasn't pretty at times, but Playoffs, all that matters is that final box score score and the uh, handle business, but we're far from satisfied. Where we have to play the game of basketball. Uh, no such lead is safe anymore in the NBA, even in these playoffs. Thompson drills it. He's still at five on the shot clock off one foot. No, three five on the shot clock, get it in. Thompson wasting no time. Play Thompson. Game six is underway in the Bay. Hit it from three. Thompson, a deep one. He is good. They sag off you. You need to shoot. Thompson shooting. Game six, Clay is a real thing. Needs help. Finds green. Curry has to pull. Can't hit. Looney, another board. He's got 20. Thompson cuts it in. And that might be the dagger. And welcome to game one of the Western Conference Finals. It's a sellout on a beautiful night in the Bay Area with a lot of anticipation. Here's a missed three. Poole and Brunson. Thompson and Cleva. Right by him! Oh! Three. Rebound off Doncic. Picked up by Wiggins. Back to play a triple. Three better. It came off of penetration. Mavericks have got to get the ball into the paint. Thompson catches and fires. Clay. Rebound by three, into Thompson, coming by Clemson for two. Careers cost one year. Well, they remain incredibly close right now. Thompson off balance, three, oh, good. Man. His second halves have been terrific. And Green with a quick outlet to Curry. Play three. Up to the nine, working on Eastwood, on big drive, baseline, step back off of one foot switch. Now 11 turnovers. That is usually the number one barometer for their successes. White Thompson. Curry brings it up. Curry looking for that opening. Sees Thompson. Thompson fires a three. Bang! Play Thompson from downtown. And the Warriors go up by one. And that'll do it. It's over. The Golden State Warriors return to a familiar place. They're on top of the NBA world. The fourth title in eight years. The Dubs dynasty is still very much alive. Man, they said we could not do it again. Talk to me, killer. In, in comparison to the other three, how does this one feel? I, I, I can't sugarcoat it, bro. It's the sweetest one. It makes the journey that much sweeter just knowing what we all had to go through. Just a calf raise after calf raise after underwater treadmill. 
so many days, not even touching the ball. Then to go through this season with the ups and downs and even these playoffs, I mean, I'm just at a loss for words at times because I just knew this was possible, but to be here in real time, ugh, man, I don't, I, I don't want to leave. I just want to enjoy every second of this. And the SB goes to... Clay Thompson! This is, this is great, man, wow. Two and a half years ago, like, I knew we would be back here, but to be here and in front of all y'all, these amazing athletes, it's just an incredible honor. I would not be here without the Warriors organization. I love you guys. Thank you, Kobe. Thank you, Gigi. Thanks, Steph, Dre, and lastly, go, go Doves, baby. <laughs> That's only the beginning.